Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making another tweaked version of pork adobo. Now, I do really love the dish whenever I've made it in previous videos and whenever I've tried it before. I loved it so much that I thought, hmm, couldn't I make it a wee bit better and more tailored to my taste? And I know what you're thinking, a lot of you are like, no, don't be changing it, it's, it's beautiful the way it is already. And look, I do agree with that guys, but there are some things that I have been able to maybe find that are more tailored and tweaked to my, my taste a bit more. Um, one of the main ingredients actually that I've decided to add today, it'll actually be these cool pink peppercorns. Um, I will still be using the black peppercorns, but these pink peppercorns, they have like a nice sweetness to it. Um, because I know a lot of you in the comments were suggesting to add brown sugar to the adobo, which I will still do. But this adds a peppery sweetness to it. So another ingredient that I'm going to be adding to the pork adobo this time is going to be this beautiful chilli oil. So the chilli oil that I'll be adding into it is Lee Kum Kee and I'll be using this instead of regular oil. Um, another thing that I'm doing to make the pork more tender, which I missed out doing the last time, is I've got it sort of starting to boil in this pot here, or this, this wok, sorry. Um, there's the laurel leaf that I've added in just to sort of get the flavour into it as it's boiling. I've got my rice pre-made and I'm still to chop up my onion and my garlic cloves. But for now, while it is boiling, I think I'm going to get these added in, some of these peppercorns beautiful beautiful pink peppercorns added in. I'm not going to do too much but I'm going to get a few of them added in just to start dispersing the flavour. I think that'll be enough there and along with those I'll get them set down over here. We're just going to be adding a bit of salt in just to let it boil in it and get the flavours a bit more dispersed. Um, I know I know that a lot of you are probably thinking, you know, this isn't how to make adobo at all and why are you even calling it adobo, but this is the biggest respect that I, as a foreigner, can really give to the dish um, by liking it so much that I feel like I just want to improve it for my personal tastes. Um, so, you know, that's just the best thing I can do really for it and I have tried this particular version before and uh, it's turned out really great, you know. So while that is boiling and bubbling away, it's starting to get to a bit more of a boil anyway. I'm going to get my onions and my garlic chopped up to basically have them prepared. So I'll probably show you a bit of that now anyway. So I'm going to get this chopped up quite finely because I believe the sort of finer they are, the more it just sort of amalgamates into one set flavour and it's just a lot flavoursome really, it reacts more with the pork later on whenever we're doing it. So I'll get these done quite finely and get them put away to the side pretty much at some point. Um, we're cooking this as in a portion for, for one person really, so you know I'm using minimal ingredients, I'm using about 250 grams of pork which is boiling away. We're using one full onion which a lot of you might think might be too much onion, um, but some of you won't as well, but for my personal flavour, I have to be careful not to cut my fingers here. For my personal tastes and flavours, you know I just enjoy a bit more onion flavour, you know what I mean? So we'll get them over to the side and we'll get moved on to the garlic here. So get that garlic nice and squished and we shall pick the skins off. Hopefully it isn't too difficult to get them off. There we go, there's that bit. And getting these wee bits off. It's always fiddly doing the garlic, I know. Uh, but yes, we'll get these done. Get the garlic chopped up as finely as we can really without being too over pedantic about it. And again, paying extra attention to not chop your fingers off in the process. So, yeah, there we go. Let's just sort of get this done. Okay. That'll disperse the flavour nicely enough, I think. Just get that an extra wee bit. And maybe just one more sort of wee squishy one there. Just to, just to add a wee bit of extraness to it. That's it all nicely chopped up. Nice and fine and we can get that ready. We'll get our rubbish cleared up as we go along. Get her into the old food waste. 
and yeah we'll just let that continue i'll see you in a moment once i'm ready to add more things in and again like last time we'll be using calamansi soy sauce um not too much of it and a bit of the vinegar too we will be adding black pepper later too once the pork is ready to be taken out after being boiled so I will see you soon once that is done. Okay guys, so the pork is nearly ready. I'll try not to let you steam up too much there. I've got my onions and my garlic into the lovely bowl here. But now in preparation, I'm gonna get my rice into my lovely bowl here to basically get it prepared and ready to set to the side for later on. So we're going to present it in a restaurant quality manner. So we're going to get it into the bowl so we can put it upside down and then get it onto our plate later on with the adobo. Give it a wee scoop, get her flattened. Just sort of pat that in pretty much. Okay, I think that's enough. Okay, so first the rice ready to be warmed up then, whenever we're ready to do that, get her closed. So that is probably about done now then guys, I'm gonna get her drained and then possibly then start to cook the pork a wee bit and get it browned. Right, let's get this poured in. There we go. Oh, gotta keep the leaf guys. So that's it over here. This method's a wee bit different than what we usually do in the recipes. But pretty much, we've got everything just there. I'm going to let the water just drain off a wee bit more, and then we're going to get some of this oil added in. I think it's actually ready to get the oil added in now, guys. So that's what it looks like. It's a very nice oil. It's got lots of little chilli flakes in it. And it really does work well, guys. I'll get it out here. So that's that. I don't want to do too much, else it'll be too spicy. But there we go, if we add that, that should do. And then just an extra wee bit of oil there. Get her splattered about. Get that tasted. Okay, so the smell is starting to smell really nice, guys. We're going to give that a wee sort of stir so that it doesn't stick or anything. We're going to give it a wee seasoning of just the regular black pepper here. And basically wait for it to brown a bit more. Now, I like my adobo really, 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 really well cooked. So obviously, my mouth's watering. Obviously, we've got it boiled. <coughs> and the peppers hit me a wee bit. We've got it boiled, which will make it a bit more tender, but, oh goodness. Um, I want the, I want the, I want the ingredients to permeate and the flavors to really get into the pork as well. Um, so I want to get it nice and browned before I start adding my vinegar, soy sauce and water and then it'll be more tenderized at that point too because obviously it takes a bit of the time to cook that way. So once the pork is browned I'll be right back with you really like. In the meantime, who's that guy singing on TV? What's going on there? What? It's me! It's me! Um, so yeah, check out my music channel too guys, you can find it in the link below in the bottom. But pretty much, uh, yeah, we're gonna wait for the pork to brown, so see you soon. <coughs> oh goodness guys, that is so, so, so peppery. But I think it's done now anyway. Let's see. So that is looking good. I think we're ready to get her cut up with the scissors actually now. Um, I'm saying scissors because <laughs> I figured out an easier way to get it cut up and everything and it's just to basically use the tongs and get the old snip on here. So this way, you know, you get the adobo nice and cut up, the wee bits of pork that are essentially the adobo cut up and get more of it, more of it cooked around because I don't like bits, I do like the fat but I don't like it whenever the fat is too, too prominent pretty much, like there's a bit of a fat. I like fat with a little bit of burnt stuff around the edges, so whenever that's got a nice sweet sort of crisp edge to it, that's whenever I prefer that the most. Um, so cutting it up into cubes before beforehand is really a way that I've learned how to do it quite more. And with the scissors and the tongs, it's just a lot easier really, after it's been cooked a wee bit. 
Oh goodness, sorry guys, for chili, it's for chili and the pepper together that are really getting to my nose and everything. Um, but it does smell really, really good. So we're going to be ready to then maybe, after chopping this up, add in our onions and our garlic and give it a wee stir. Let's get that wee, look at that, I love the wee brown bits that get, that's the chilli whenever it gets all like caramelised onto it. And that's what I really like about this particular recipe, which I don't actually think is a real recipe, so it is a completely different version of adobo. Okay, I think we're ready to get this added in. Let's go for it. There we go. Get every last bit in. Give it a wee shift. So that's that cooking away. Like, we'll get that nicely done. All the flavours, all the extra chilli and extra pepper that we've added to the pork is now getting added to the onions and the garlic then. So it's all going to disperse, sort of even it out a wee bit, plus later we're going to be adding it to the rice, which will disperse the flavour a bit more evenly. Um, but it smells really good, I'm starting to water a wee bit again. The chilli's dying down a wee bit, um, the whole apartment is filled up, I've had to go over here and open the door. That's what it's like outside at the moment, beautiful day, the guys are cutting the grass and everything, and there's guys out playing cricket there. And uh, yeah, I just had to get the door open. Um, I'll show you a bit more of the balcony actually while we're here. So yeah, it's a really nice sort of atmosphere here. Um, I am, you know, sad that I'll be leaving in August, obviously, but I'm very happy too at the same time. Uh, but yeah, it's a lovely day, beautiful day. Good to get out here and escape the pepper and the chilli for a wee while anyway. Um, but I can hear it sizzling there. I think we've got to head back in to pretty much not ruin the dinner or anything like that. So I'll maybe get that open and just leave it open a bit more because the smell is really strong. Give that another wee shake guys, so it doesn't stick too much. Get a whoop, get a whoop. Okay, that's looking good. That's looking really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our vinegar. Now it is a method that I will be sticking to um, in regards to we put the vinegar in and just need to get that open. We put the vinegar in and we leave it for like a few minutes. So let's do, we're doing this all by judgment because I have practiced this a wee bit. Okay. I think that's about enough. So as you guys, the cook adobo already know, the smell of the vinegar just pwah, hits you in the face once you pour it in. Um, I'll do that again. Pwah! It hits you in the face as you put it in. But we're going to leave that for a few minutes now. Let it just sort of like evenly cook properly. And then we'll give it a wee stir and add the soy sauce and water in. And then we just pretty much leave it and add the rice and stuff to it. And then obviously give it a taste. I think also from last time whenever I cooked it, I thought it was missing something. Just a slight something. So today, uh, it's still in the bag, but we're going to be adding a little bit of lemon juice to it, just to give it a bit more sourness, uh, but we'll do that later. <coughs> oh, that is so strong. Here's just some lemon juice to add while the vinegar's doing it. So a very much altered adobo. Okay, so that's it been sizzling away for a few more minutes. After the lemon juice has been added into it, we're gonna get a bit more stir going on. Right, I think we're ready to add our lovely soy sauce into it now. So it's the calamansi soy sauce, so we've got lemon, calamansi, we've got loads of stuff going on. Again, a lot of you guys are probably ready to comment going, this guy has completely ruined adobo and should never be allowed to cook Filipino food or cuisine ever again. And you know what guys? Fair enough, fair enough, good point, good point. Um, I'm not sure if it is technically adobo anymore, but you know what? It is adobo for me, it's beautiful once I get it, once I get it done and tweaked, you know? 
and I'm sure a lot of you guys are actually are actually quite pleased that I've tried this. Um, but yeah, go away haters, just get off the channel if you don't like it. So we don't need too much of this, we're just going to add a wee bit less than the vinegar. So at this point is where we change it a wee bit too. We're going to be adding quite a bit of water um, because we've got a lot of the other flavours that I've added additionally in. So we need to disperse that and also give it time to then really permeate the pork a bit more. So I'm going to add like a full cup of water. Um, usually I would just like use the sink to pour it in but I've got like the two hands so I've got to you know do it like that. Um, so we'll get that poured in and we'll do that for pretty much like half an hour. It really lets all the flavours then permeate into it. Okay guys, I think that is the adobo pretty much ready. It's reduced down quite a lot there. I've just got a bit more of it to reduce, but we're ready to now get it prepped and get it added into the rice. And today we're going to be sitting outside actually to listen to some of the nicer sounds outside and everything. So I've got my area nice and set up. There it is, beautiful iced tea sitting there ready for me. So I've got to pretty much then just get my food plated up and I will see you outside. Okay guys, so here it is. Here's the lovely pork adobo. The tweaked, changed pork adobo with a lovely homage to the Filipino flag right there. There it is nice and close up. As you can see, it's really nicely cooked. It's got a lovely glaze to it. It's got the rice obviously, got the laurel leaf. We'll maybe get it out of the way actually. Um, but yeah, it, it looks, it smells, and it hopefully tastes really good anyway. I'll bring you over here for the first bite. So yeah, it's a beautiful sort of like, beautiful dish. Um, just changed a wee bit, so I'll let you see the sort of like, you can't really see the view obviously too much, but here it is here. So there's the lovely pork adobo. The plate's very hot, I'll get you set back down anyway. Um, but yeah, it all boils down to the taste test, doesn't it? So let's get that off. Um, got that from Callier, so we'll set it to the side. Have a wee sip of iced tea first, actually. Mm. So, get a bit of a rice to balance it out, and we will get a wee bit here. Let's see. Wow. It is so good. I haven't got the kick of the chilli yet, but I've got the vinegar. The thing I like about this recipe is the, is the tenderness of it that you get with the pre-boiling, which I know you're meant to do anyway, but then once you do that, then boil it afterwards, it just adds that extraness to it. Onions really nicely finely chopped, I'll let you like see it a bit more closer here. But uh, yeah, hold on. So you can see just how nicely it's done there. Not too much sauce, but enough to kind of like balance out the rice and everything. So let's see, I'll get another wee bit. I'm like in the shadow here, so I'm trying to like show you guys it properly. It's nice and steamed and everything. And let's see. Oh. Yeah, so good. It really works, like in my opinion. This is actually the first thing that I've had today, so like I'm really happy that I've, that I've actually got a bit of food. And the fact that it's great food is awesome too. And um, it's nice and sunny out here, hence the sunglasses. And uh, yeah. We'll take them off for a while here anyway, just to get the next wee mouth away. Mm. It's so nice, like, with the extra lemon, the calamansi and the soy sauce, you know, just all beautiful. It's almost like a seasick met adobo. And then chili was the baby. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck in a wee bit more. Um, and I'll probably see you whenever I'm closer to being finished anyway, but so far so good guys, you should try this recipe out. Also, a big shout out to TMD Adventures, good old iced tea. Iced tea! Yeah, look at his channel, it's a brilliant channel, lots of Filipino stuff going on. Um, so give him a check out, he's a great person. Powering my way through this and the pink peppercorns have basically made an appearance. I got a good crunch onto one of them. Well, it's kind of softened up, but a kind of squish crunch into it. And the flavor just burst out. It's so different than the usual black pepper, uh, which I also added anyway, but it's just so like, so fragrant. And then you get that wee bit of sweetness to it as well. So it's, it's a really, really nice addition to the dish. A good homage to it, definitely. It's so tasty. 
the more you use it, the more of the flavors just start hitting you and meet together. It's so nice, guys. So pretty much done to the last mouthful. I have to like kind of use my hands here to get it onto the spoon. And it's like all the onions and stuff, so all the flavor really at the bottom with like barely any rice. But it should be a good last mouthful. Let's of course bring you in for it. Here we go. Well, that was lovely. I'll take my iced tea with me and we shall head back in. Um, but until next time guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe and all that there like. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.